Join me today as I take you thrifting and share a haul at the end of things I have found for fall and some Christmas decor. We'll go look at your stuff here in a minute. This will be cute to gift gifts in. share my charity rummage half off sale haul with you it definitely is more picked over when you go on the half off sale day compared to the other three days so I'm gonna share quite a bit of the fall winter clothing that I got and a few books and a couple, couple other decor pieces um, it just wasn't quite um, as good like I said, which is okay. I spent five dollars total for everything you see because it was fill a bag for two dollars and fifty cents Or 25 cents an item so a steal no matter what some things I picked up just to try on at home if I want to And I can always redonate when it's that price I'm just putting some things in my bags. All right, I'm gonna start with a little bit of Christmas decor and books and then the clothing all right, it is Christmas mug season. I know it's only October, right? But I've got this Comfort and Joy checkered mug, red and maroon plaid. The brand is Royal Norfolk. So just fun to have a couple mugs for my husband and I in the morning for Christmas time, winter season. And then this reindeer, <laughs> you know, it's really heavy duty. Nothing on the bottom, but I'm like, this just is kind of a fun mug to have or you could gift it with hot cocoa packet in it and marshmallows or something like that um so i thought those were two cute mugs to have you saw me look at a few other ones i tried to steer from the actual christmas like santa theme um i like more of the wintry theme i guess i got this tin with a snowman on it, it said snowed in to gift cookies because I bake tons of cookies for Christmas season and give them away to neighbors, friends. Um, it's just a really cute little tin that I picked up. Along with the home decor, before I get to the books here, I picked up two beautiful vases as um, our church that I'm in charge of, our women's group, is doing a soup and pie day fundraiser and country store. So I filled these beautiful vases with mums for the country store sale it's a free will donation so i just thought oh that'd be fun for people to have some fall decor if they want to get some real flowers for the country store so that's why i picked up two vases that is a great place thrift stores is a great place to get vases especially if you're gifting them so on to the books my daughter is actually looking at them right now for quiet time so i have three here down comes the rain it is by franklin m Branley. um I haven't looked through all of these yet, but I think most of them looked pretty um, decent for kids. Joseph's Colorful Coat. 
um, Collective Goods is the company that wrote this. Snowman at Night, just a Scholastics book. I already read this to her because she wanted to see it, but I thought wintry books, it's coming up to that time. And then some other ones that I will insert a clip here that you can see. And so I'm excited to find books. It's always great to find good used books that I can read to my kids because I have books all over our house for the girls in a basket out here, in the bedroom, downstairs. Um, just tucked away in totes for seasonal as well. So I love books, especially when they're so cheap. All right, on to the clothes. I did not pick anything up for my little boy. Um, I feel like I'm pretty stocked because I got some clothes gifted, or I guess I'm sharing with my sister-in-law who had a boy before I did. So she's handing me down a few things that I'll give back to her. <laughs> so for my two-year-old, I got this Old Navy floral shirt. It is a 40, but it looked it looked like it would fit her. It is a little worn, but I liked the floral. This um, peanut and Ellie, isn't this just adorable? It's actually like Easter eggs and a bunny, but you know, you can wear it any time of the year. And then my heart belongs to daddy shirt. And the brand is Carter's. This is also a 4T, but I think these shirts run small when they've been worn so much and washed so often. For my four-year-old, these Justice Premium jeans for when she's a little bit bigger. Oh, the knees are pretty worn. That's okay. Um, the floral pattern just really got me. She thought they were so cute. Um, they have the adjustable waistband, I think. No, they don't. So they're a size six, but she's in a size five. So we'll see if they fit her by, you know, February or so. But it's never a bad idea to pick up when they get a little bigger because sometimes they just have a girl spurt and get big fast. These leggings were so cute to the color. I loved it for fall. Oh, they're kind of a burnt orange color. Just really adorable. And then I could not pass up this sweater, even though it is big, like this over a pair of leggings. Oh, I don't know if she'll actually wear it or not, but it's a Gap Kids. It's a size eight. So it is a little bit big, but you know, if she's willing to wear a chunky wig sweater, that would be really adorable. Or save it for when she's a little bit bigger. All right, on to my clothes, and maybe I'll show some try on here or not. We'll see. So I was just picking up a few things because my postpartum body this time is not the same as it was my two previous pregnancies. So this is a Croft and Barrow um, t-shirt. This would look great with high-waisted jeans with a sweater over it. It is, um, I'm just trying to see what, oh, it's rayon, I guess, so different material. We'll see how I like that or not. Then this is a Miami long sleeve. This looks more like a sleepwear shirt. I don't know, but this might work well for like wearing um, a vest over. It's longer in the back than in the front and it's gray. This is like a half turtleneck. This would be cute with a vest over it too. Sag Harbor or to wear over a dress, right? Like I have, this is a dress I'm wearing. Wear this over it. And I picked up a couple like sweatshirt type crew necks. This is the She Who brand. 50% um, cotton, 50% polyester. And it says beautifully flawed. And I think that's just perfect for us because we are all humans and are sinful in nature. And this is a Nike. It is an extra small. And I am not an extra small. But it looks like it would fit well. It's like a lightweight sweatshirt. Um, I don't know what the cotton, if it's cotton or not. But it just feels so soft. So, and I couldn't pass up a Nike, honestly. Then I noticed this summer I didn't have a lot of workout clothes and I've been trying to do a little more. So this is um, active brand, I guess. Just a turquoise active shirt. It has like a keyhole in the back. So it might be more for summer or if I'm doing a workout in the house. 
Okay, you guys, and you know our family tradition, possibly, if you follow me, we do a ugly sweater Christmas card. So I have not found any sweaters for any of us <laughs> at all yet, and I have five of us to look for this time. And I checked last year, I took our Christmas card picture October 30th last year. So I am not as prepared, but I did find this one for myself. Um, it's from Craft and Barrel. I, it's a light blue and it has snowflakes on it. So, you know, and it's a zip with a snowflake on it. It definitely has a musty kind of old smell. So this will probably be mine. And then I might just have to look on Facebook Marketplace for some ugly sweaters for the rest of my family to go with that. Cause I don't really want like bright red to go with that baby blue. Okay friends, that is my haul. A lot more clothes, a lot more fall, winter clothes, some books, not a lot of home decor, but I still hope you enjoyed coming along on a little bit of thrifting that I share with you and this haul. If you enjoy these, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and join my YouTube community here. I enjoy all of you who comment, those of you who are just so encouraging and sweet with all the comments you share in the videos. It just, sometimes I read them and I just think, oh, you know, what a blessing you all are. So thanks for watching all my videos that you all do. So I will talk with you all in my next video. Bye.